hey and welcome back to video tutorial how to use v-ray proxy so i got this motorcycle i got it online from uh 3d warehouse so on uh sketchup i found this uh ducati and this is the guy that built it ito r and he has nice models and with v-ray for sketchup materials i'm israel Witto from w design <laughs> Okay, so first thing we want to do is to erase the unused material. So in window, uh, model info, um, purge unused under statistics. We can um, delete all the unused material and purge whatever we have doubles. Next, on the V-Ray for SketchUp main toolbar, we got uh, the proxy um, icon. So the green one is to export our, our model as a proxy. So now we just need to name it. We'll call it Moto Proxy 3. We already did some testing before this. Click save and then we get this window. Here basically we can leave it as is, but if we want um, basically uh, less sampling to create our proxy, so here we just type 50, click OK, and this can take the computer a few minutes to create a proxy. Okay, so we got our proxy. So basically the proxy is to help your computer um, with big models with a lot of detail. So basically you can get like a view with only 50 sampling that whatever, whatever number we put in. So we put 50 and then when we render on rendering time, we'll get a full bike with all the details and all materials. So that's why we should convert our highly models like cars or trees or bikes, whatever it is, um, to proxy so we can bring a lot of them into our scene and it will make a hard time on the computer and still get all the effects of the reflection and all VRA materials. Okay, so now I want to uh, import my bike proxy into a different SketchUp file. So I go to the red icon, the import, and I click it. And now I choose my bike. And this can take a few seconds. In this case, uh, it took like a few minutes. So I had a lot of details. So eventually I got my proxy and I added it into my model. Now I, I had some problems with rendering it since I lost all my materials. So I'll show you a trick how I got it working and I'll show you what happened to me and if it happened to you so you can use my trick to um, get your proxy with all the materials. So basically what I did I set up all the options to be optimized for a nice rendering and I render and as you can see I lost all my colors V-Ray materials and I got a bunch of colors. Technically, I can go into my uh, V-Ray material and add all my materials, but this model has 60 materials and it'll take a while. So I'll show you a trick. So I have here the original proxy file that I did in the beginning, and this one works. And as you can see, uh, if I render, I have uh, the motorbike, even though on the preview it's a proxy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the proxy and control C and control V into my project. This can take a few seconds since the file is very big but once you got it in uh, most likely it will work. Now I'll show you another trick if it won't work. Um, another way to bring in your proxy. So first of all I'm positioning my camera and now that I'm all set up I will render. So before we wrap this up, uh, if you try to render and the model comes all black, let's say you did Control C, Control V, I'll show another tr way. If you go to File, Import, and you choose a SketchUp file, and you choose your motorbike proxy, and you import it into your model, from my experience, this uh, method uh, most likely more common to work so thank you for watching please like and subscribe share and check our channel thanks